Justice. For the Jewish community of Pittsburgh, the Jew Justice for the survivors. A local couple remembers a Pittsburgh shooting victim as a good friend. And they're watching closely as the trial begins for the accused Tree of Life synagogue shooter. Now, the shooting which killed 11 happened in 2018. Four years later, four and a half years later, the incident still having a lasting effect on people. First News reporter Kyle Alexander talked to a local couple with close connections to the Tree of Life Synagogue. On October 27th, 2018, 11 people were shot and killed at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill, Pennsylvania. Six others were hurt. It was the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in American history. The trial of the suspect, Robert Bowers, starts today. Is uh, unfathomable, but it's real. Rick and Ronna Marlin live in Liberty now, but Ronna grew up in Squirrel Hill. The Marlins were married at Tree of Life Synagogue. They never thought anything like this would happen there. You don't imagine that anywhere, but that's the problem is that in today's world, it can happen anywhere. The place that I was so comfortable with, you know, isn't anymore. Rana was close with the oldest victim, 97-year-old Rose Mallinger. Her daughter, Andrea Wedner, um, took her to synagogue that morning, and they were holding hands when the person shot her mother. There's a lot of connections here in our community to those folks, and a lot of connections in Pittsburgh as well. Ken Balecki is the executive director of Jewish Family and Community Services, which is offering mental health counseling for anyone affected by the trial. A lot of trauma is either primary or secondary. So even having connections to that community in Pittsburgh, we could still be impacted here. Four and a half years later, the Marlins hope justice is served for everyone involved in this trial. The survivors have to relive the entire experience again to make that happen. In Youngstown, Kyle Alexander, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.